Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, evaluating sodium conditions in your soils at your site or in your irrigation water. And I want to demonstrate the use of the Cardi sodium meter. This, uh, this version was provided by uh, Spectrum Technologies. Uh, this meter is a, a pretty easy to use meter. I show you some shortcuts on how to get the solution out of a saturated paste uh, without having to actually suction out the uh, paste extract. And then I'll show you how uh, a saturated paste is made and how uh, a laboratory would extract that saturated paste and compare the direct reading uh, from the soil onto this meter uh, to the saturated paste extract. And then I'm going to show you how to calibrate this meter uh, for use at your site. And there's also some additional uh, information that will be associated with this video that will uh, uh, detail some sodium issues with turf grasses. So let's take a look at how this meter performs and how you can use it to get a better idea of sodium levels at your location. Okay, well here's the setup. Uh, this is the meter. It opens up to expose the, uh, the sensors, uh, the sodium sensor down at the bottom. And then we've made a saturated paste extract. You can see it glistens. There's no uh, water at the top of that sample at all. Um, but it's just got a little bit of a glisten uh, to the sample. So what we can do uh, to transfer the sample, normally you would suction this material out, but we're going to try to push the meter a little bit uh, further than normal to make it easy to use, is you just take the sample paper, uh, press it down onto uh, the soil, so you can see to get the sample saturated, that little sample sheet, then we take that sample sheet out, and we put it upside down, so we don't put the soil side down onto the meter, we put it upside down this way, there's enough solution in there, and we'll turn it on to see what uh, our reading is. As you can see, it's a reading times 10. So it gives you 360 parts per million, and you see the sensor at the bottom. So that shows you what the sensor looks like where, uh, where the pad is. So that's a little bit on the high side. So the salts in general uh, on this green were elevated, and, in, and specifically sodium was about three times, or more than three times, the 110 part per million limit that we are looking for. Now I want to show you what you'll receive in the box if you order one of these sodium meters from Spectrum Technologies. Uh, how to calibrate the meter properly so that you'll get the right readings when you use the meter. And how to pull a saturated paste extract from a soil suspension using a vacuum pump. And I just want to remind you that uh, the samples that we're working with on this video are from a POA annua green that was infected by rapid blight that we suspected had high sodium levels. This is the Cardi meter, sodium meter, uh, from Spectrum Technologies. It's an ion specific probe, comes with a few components. There's a standardization um, solutions. There are the test strip uh, materials that you need, a pair of forceps, a dropper bottle, the, uh, a bottle to put uh, distilled water in, so this is just a rinse bottle, and the actual uh, meter itself, which is the, uh, the Cardi meter. It has the sensors uh, down in the bottom of the meter. So we'll uh, walk through the steps on uh, calibration to start with. To begin with, you need to cut a couple of strips of the sample paper to use for the uh, two-point calibration. There'll be a high point, high concentration sodium, and a low concentration sodium calibration uh, to provide a, a, a good estimate of what's in the solution place the sample paper onto the electrodes and then simply uh, drop two or three drops of the 20 times 100 or 2,000 part per million sodium solution onto the meter. Then you turn the meter on and adjust the standard uh, up to the 20 times 100 reading just by turning the knob. If it goes down, turn it the opposite direction. And then for the second uh, calibration, we need to clean the, uh, clean the meter off, just rinse it off with distilled water. Takes a couple seconds. Then we will uh, blot it dry with a clean paper towel. Just very carefully uh, get the moisture off. And then uh, repeat the process with the 15 times 10 solution, or 150 part per million sodium solution. In this case, after you drop the drops on, we're, we're not going to use that same standard con control. We're going to use the slope control that's hidden uh, behind that uh, movable 
uh, piece of rubber and we'll adjust that to 15 uh, times 10 and there you go the calibration is done we're ready to use the meter now let's take a look at vacuum extraction of a saturated paste extract so with this little test we're going to run a quick saturated paste extract and I'll just run through the process we're going to shortcut the methodology a little bit normally you would saturate the soil and let it set for 12 hours or 24 hours it would be a specific protocol for, for that but in a diagnostic situation where we're just trying to get an idea of what's going on we're going to do a quick uh, saturate it up suck the solution out put it on the uh, sodium meter and try to get an EC read with the Field Scout EC meter and see where those uh, rapid blight soils come in at. First step is we're going to take some soils and uh, transfer them into a beaker Now with the soil, we're just going to go ahead and add sufficient water to bring this up to up to a saturated paste extract level. Now the trick with the saturated paste extract is to add just enough water to, uh, to so that the so soil glistens, so you have a glistening soil, uh, not too much water. I'm getting close to that level now. And that's just about. And you can see how the soil, uh, maybe you can see how the soil glistens. There's no water running off the soil. That's pretty much uh, saturated paste extract. Then we uh, take a Wattman number two filter, it's just a piece of filter paper, and we're going to go ahead and run that onto the uh, vacuum flask. We have a, um, a test tube inside the flask to catch the solution. I'm going to start the pump. We only need a few cc's of material, so I'm going to shut it off now and we'll use a pipette and extract the material and put it on the sodium meter to see what, what we get. So that's, that's the extract, and we'll just check this now against the uh, sodium meter to see how it comes out. So we use the sodium meter just as we did in the calibration practice, is you just have to put a sample paper strip onto the probe, and then uh, transfer a small portion of solution onto the meter. And then we'll read directly the sodium parts per million that is in that saturated paste extract. Let's turn on the meter and it shows 39 times 10 so 390 parts per million with the saturated paste extract. We had 360 parts per million with the direct reading from the sample. Now let's take a look at the salinity of that saturated paste extract using the Field Scout EC meter. So when we stick the EC meter probe into the solution, we see that we get a direct reading of 3.86 uh, decisiemens per meter. And this is a, uh, a solution, so you don't need to convert that meter reading. But let's take a look at what we see if we use this EC meter to try to get a reading directly from the soil. As most of you know, you can stick the Field Scout EC meter directly into the, into the soil profile to get a reading and you will have to convert this reading to a saturated paste extract. The reading that we're seeing from the sample is around 1.47 uh, decimeters per meter, so about 1.5 decimeters per meter. With a saturated paste extract equivalent, that would be right about 4.9
decisiemens per meter. So we're seeing we're getting a little bit higher reading on the direct uh, measurement, but we're also a little bit different uh, sample, so we're not in exactly the same sample. But that just gives you a rough idea of how the uh, EC direct meter reading converts to the uh, saturated paste extract. We hope you've enjoyed this video and refer to the links associated with this video for additional information on sodium and salinity monitoring.